play two clips really briefly. Then we're going to go to the post game. We're playing re-education and gulag. We're going to take all of your calls and IMs. But I got to just play first. Do you know the Mikey Rotundo kid? Have you heard about this story? I've heard about the story. I haven't seen any of the clips All yet. All right. So he was interviewed. Alex Jones had him on air. And I just want to say my my takeaway from this is that we should start a campaign for his kid, his parents to immediately reinstate him in his room. <laughs> I think he's a nice kid. I think clearly whatever problems that he's having is obviously their fault. And he's a sweet guy. And I totally support his return to his rightful home in his parents' house. Um, this is the first clip. We're going to just play this for a couple minutes, but what I love about how this starts is that they literally have this kid, Mikey Rotundo. He's just sitting there, and then Alex shows up like 10 seconds in. So we have about 10 seconds of him just like awkwardly sitting there waiting for the interview to start. And then Alex Jones, who I think, Felix, I mean, I think you and I are, you know, take pride in our craft, but I mean, we'd have to both admit that Alex Jones is obviously the greatest broadcaster of our generation. He's, right. There's something to it. He's been yeah. doing it for like 20 yeah. years. Uh, he's a fucking genius. So let's watch he's the math. Let's watch deep. the master at work here. <laughs> this, this is literally how the segment starts. He just, <laughs> just like, let's, let's just pan it on him. Looking. Oh, he looks like John Romero. <laughs> I'm like, all right. I never got a full front view of his face. He looks like John Romero from Doom. So. See you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you plane. Right. Appreciate you coming in the info wars. Michael Rotondo. <laughs> also known as the man of the week. Player of the week. They are what what's saying uh, the thirty year old perp man uh, that was just evicted by his parents in New York. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. I appreciate your courage coming down here to Texas. <laughs> and I just want to say on a scale of one to 10, people that have drug problems or people that are mentally ill or people that are criminals, you are not even on that scale. Great. Right, that's, that's nice to hear. Well, I, I'm not going to be condescending. The media made you the ultimate demon in the world, both liberal and conservative media. I was seeing Even that. the left that pushes dependency and paying for people's anchor babies and sex changes. I should not pay for somebody's sex change or, or their nose job. And so I was kind of jumping on you a few days ago, a little bit, but still saying, wait a minute. But he's not one tenth as bad as all these other people. I'm not saying I disagree uh, with your parents wanting you out of the house at 30. <laughs> what I am saying is that this whole millennial thing we see of people being obsessed with their phones, being obsessed with television, <laughs> not going out, not getting jobs, you know, uh, being afraid of change. I think Note you are indicative of that and actually later. very, very common. And I don't mean that in a mean way. Okay. Um, what is <laughs> what is your world perspective on that? Well, um, I, I think that I've just been doing the best I can and I've been setting forth a reasonable effort. And um, I, I don't think there's really anything... Uh, wrong with the things that I've done or I say I say I'm handing things that I've done thus far let so. him home let him home let him home you... yeah okay let's now let's play all right oh, get, get your, what's your world perspective on that so far Felix Alex Jones is he has the best acceleration rate <laughs> of, of like any host because it's like he just like wanders into the set and he's like all right I'm ready to go so you're a fucking loser but at least you're not trans and it's like Wow, you just like hit the ground sprinting, dude. He just hit every single fucking big achievers. Like, hey, how you doing? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, we're going to hit transgender people, immigrants, anchor babies. Now I'm going to develop emotional rapport with you. And now I'm going to ask you. <laughs> this. And then he answers like the Sally Jesse Raphael question. Like, how are you feeling? Yeah, he's <laughs> like, yeah, it's just like no one. No one can do that. Even like the best bro the best broadcasters like need a warm up. They need like their right. you know Coke Zero with lime at the right temperature. <laughs> Alex Jones like any weight. If you shook shook him away in the middle of the time, he'd be like, I don't see why I should have to pay for anyone's hormones. And it's like he's just like ready to go to be a piece of shit at any time. And it's that's why he's like the the king. That's why he's the king. This section they're talking about. And this is another, this is really, I think you guys will be chanting, let him home with me after you see this. I think Mikey Rotundo is a little bit more woke than you might expect. They're talking about um, radiation and racism here. Media or, or just 5G is going to kill a billion people in the next 20 years from cancer. 
Uh-huh. Now tell me how uh-huh. the goddamn racism is important. <laughs> 5G is going to kill a billion people. Mm-hmm. It's estimated. Uh-huh. <laughs> I, I, what, oh does it matter what God. color your skin is? It's not that the race crap isn't going on. It the, It's in the WikiLeaks that they project all the race stuff <laughs> because that's how we're designed. We see each other and what color we are. Right. We don't see radiation blasting through things, man. Right. But the globalists do. Do you understand? Right. I, do you understand there is a scientific consciousness that is completely cold-blooded beyond anything you can imagine that is preying on you? And so as a man, you need to gut up and learn what that is and take the threat that's there yep. and stop thinking by protecting yourself in a bubble and being real slow <laughs> about everything. You're going to do anything. Holy you're not. Shit. You're dying. You're dying. You're dying. I would personally, I think that the racism is more important than the... <laughs> 5G thing because the rate because I mean if we if we die sooner from cancer does it matter if if we if we die sooner does it matter that we led good lives pause it nailed it did you hear that it matters that we led good lives so the racism matters let him home he's let let him home this is a nice kid oh there's more I want to play that another minute and then we'll go to the post game but there's it's too much my god Am I, am I, Felix, seriously, am I right? Guys, yeah, no, let him home. He, he, there's something good in this kid's there's, heart. Yeah. Dude, kid, he's older than me. But, <laughs> you know, but he is a kid. Yeah. Look, for a fucking 30-year-old who refuses to leave his parents' home and, like, God only knows what he's up to all day, like, I he's understand. sweet nature, he has good politics. For guys like this, like, for guys he's like a good guy. this or, like, Brian Silva... Like the fact that everyone makes fun of them because they are how they are, but you should honestly give them an award for yes. not being alt right. Exactly. You should give them like exactly. A, I would. I would. You know, there should be a government agency that like gives these guys jobs as like he can be like a steam moderator yeah. and lives in like <laughs> subsidized housing. Like Brian Silva is in like a WPA where he like raps. Like, Obama takes him on a like the the Wakanda theme park that opens up at Disney or something. Yeah. Like, come yeah. on, young man, let's go see Wakanda together. <laughs> Way to not become a Nazi. Yeah, it's like you know, R.I.P. Yeah. R.I.P. Young King Dave. Young King Dave is another guy who should have been, like, commended for not, like, being all right. It's like, anytime you see, like, a fucked up, like, young, not even young, like, a fucked up, like, socially fucked up white person on the internet, and they're, like, weird, and everyone's laughing at them, but they're, like, not racist. But they're like, hey, racism's kind of wrong. They yeah. should be, yes. We should do honorary, like, left degrees for those people. I am totally yeah. ready to give this guy an honorary left degree and say, let him home. But let's play another little bit of this, and then we'll go to the post game. Without hatred, see, you're, you're, see, this is this is this is this is the scrambled spiritualism I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> do, do you understand that in China there are a hundred plus million people in forced labor camps right now? Now he's in I, his I haven't, heard, I haven't heard that specifically, but I've heard there's a lot of terrible things in a lot of different countries. Oh, the, 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 the central committee—that's <laughs> public. Ooh. I personally haven't, all right, I haven't heard they it. They say Mao Zedong was responsible for 84 million dead. The Chinese do. Okay. <laughs> That's in the, our CIA says 65 million. I don't know the true number. Mm-hmm. 65, 84, whatever. Do you understand that they're killing millions of Buddhists <laughs> every year and Christians and selling their organs? I don't, I did not know that. Oh. But see, there's not the psychological fun because it's Asians killing Asians. So it's not as sexy as Oprah Winfrey and Roots. I am always okay. saying that. <laughs> I'm always saying that, that it's not sexy when Asians kill Asians. It's just, it's just, something I've what, noticed. That's what you said. You were like, I, I love doing this show, but don't do that fucking Oprah Winfrey and Roots shit with me. What, <laughs> what, what does he mean like Oprah, Win, Oprah Winfrey and Roots? I like have, that just literally <laughs> that it's just both like black stuff. Like, it's not as sexy as black stuff. Yeah, and uh, he's he's a bad person. He's a bad person, but it's all it's like his thoughts are so. The thing about Alex Jones that's like cool is like there's a lot of stuff that's cool. Frankly, that he tells the truth is one. <laughs> yeah, but, I think, uh, yeah. Uh, it, it's that like his thoughts are as jumbled as like any fucking idiot you'll see in like you know YouTube comments or whatever, where it's just like 
screaming at like a post a selfie from like Zendaya about black on black crime. <laughs> it just makes no. It's just like a, a screaming but with totally jumbled thoughts that just nothing links up to anything. But he has like this like broadcaster charisma kind of. <laughs> yeah, and he just says this shit that makes no fucking sense. Like just no, none of it relates to anything. Like they could just it could just be from seven <laughs> sentences put together. But he's like confident enough that hundreds of thousands of people will give him money to do it. It's inspirational for <laughs> for those of us who also have like jumbled thoughts. It's like inspirational. I'm trying to get to that point. Yeah.